Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Phil and today we're going to be doing a video about vidIQ. Now, in this vidIQ review for 2020, I sort of want to show you what's up to date, what's working, what isn't, what vidIQ is and how you can actually use it. It's actually quite a powerful tool. A lot of people don't realize the full potential of it. They just see, uh, for example, the plugin and they think that's it. So I want to sort of uh, go a little bit more in depth of how I use it day to day. Um, some things that you can find out about it and a few little secret tricks that will actually help you get your videos more views and get ranked now just before I get started I am a partner for vidIQ if you decide to get started with vidIQ Pro I've left a link in the description if you use that I'll give you a free video ranking book as well that I've actually personally created uh, it's not for sale just yet or it's not on the market just yet but you'll be one of the first people to get it so make sure you use that link in the description so first of all what is vidIQ now vidIQ is essentially a SEO tool for YouTube and that means search engine optimization right so what it essentially does is you get your membership there's a pro version there's a paid and there's I think a couple of different levels of paid I'll go through those in a bit um, but what it does is it gives you recommendations based on what your video is about to what you can actually do to make it rank better right we're talking things like thumbnails hash oh sorry not hashtags tags uh descriptions we've also got things like end cards thumbnails um, sharing all these types of things they will all go into play to um, help your video rank further but one of the most important things about it is not necessarily the plugin it's more so the search engine because a lot of people know that there is the keyword planner for Google. There's also things like Ahrefs for SEO for um, websites and that sort of thing. But there isn't actually many search engines dedicated to YouTube. And what's actually happened is vidIQ has created that. And they've created this database of pretty much winning keywords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. It's probably a little bit confusing. Um, but what you can do is find low competition keywords that have, have high search volume. And if you create videos on those exact topics, what you're going to do is have a much better chance of ranking, which I've personally seen because I follow this method uh, every time I shoot a video. And it's just going to help your channel grow so much better. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm not going to try to rant on too much longer. I'm going to go behind the screen in just a second and I'm going to show you exactly what vidIQ does. So I'm going to jump behind there now and I'll see you there. Okay, guys, here we are behind the screen. Now, I'm just going to start off with the pricing page of vidIQ because I just want to, you know, get this out the air. I'm going to refer to it a lot um, because you get so much value for what you pay. So there's four different plans you can choose. The free one is very limited. You can get the Chrome plugin and you can do bits and pieces, but um, it's really just if you're like dipping your feet in a little bit. I probably, I, I did start off on this for a few years before I took um, YouTube seriously, but as soon as I did, I went to pro and I was extremely surprised the value you get for seven bucks 50. Um, keep in mind the, the key point of all of this is it's $7.50, two coffees, and you could have 30 days worth of information, right? So just keep that in mind. So first of all, I'm going to start here on the vidIQ dashboard. This is the pro dashboard, by the way. Um, you don't get a dashboard, I believe, in the free plan, but this is the pro dashboard. So this is what you can expect. Um, inside here, we'll have things like all the channels analytics, and you can change the custom date. I believe I started this channel, um, I think I did my first video in like Jan. So you can see the progression of my um, of my channel. As you can see, all these blue spikes is where I was where I've posted and I've been sharing it all over the place. Um, so it's, it was dead because I did nothing for so long, learned about vidIQ and started sharing things more and it's just starting to grow now, which is really nice. Um, no doubt when you watch this in the future, it's going to be a lot higher. Uh, if we come down, we've also got an overview. I like to see this because it's, you know, I'm trying to get my channel eventually monetized. Um, so once I get to, you know, a thousand subscribers and more um, hours watched, then I can get it. Down here, we've got some basic demographics, what your top trending video is, what the top searches are, um, what your demographics are, males to females. Females are falling behind. Come on, pick it up pick it up ladies also the places that's been embedded top playlists best time to post overview and trends so it's all good information there guys not going to touch on too much about it to be honest i don't really look at any of this stuff specifically i do however look at the last seven days when i log in it's always nice to see uh, what else have we got in here inside here we've got videos it's got all the list of all your videos your descriptions all your subscribers which is really nice if you wanted to do something with that 
uh, SEO, which is my favorite part, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, the one that actually helped me grow my channel. Um, so I'll talk about that in a sec. We've also got something, some stuff about your competitors, um, and there's an opportunity to upgrade there. But something I didn't realize you get with the pro membership is actually VidIQ Academy, right? So I've already logged into that and you can see what it is here. Essentially, it's six courses that you can get, right? And I've gone through this one here, how to use VidIQ. And I was blown away with the amount of information that you can get with it, right? If I click on it just to show you um, the basic overview of it, you get quite a bit of stuff. And this number two here, this the section two, I was actually blown away with the amount of information here, right? So um, this is a pro upgrade. You have to pay your big $7.50 to get access to it. It's probably going to be the cheapest um, course that you'll ever get as well, by the way, guys. Plus, you get to have um, the tool as well. So if you are serious about YouTube and you want to grow your channel, just give it a month, seven bucks fifty, and then you can cancel. Whatever. It's um, it's definitely worth the investment. And what else have we got here? Um, nothing really too much I do on the actual website apart from this magic, magic thing right here. So I'll go over that in a sec. I'm just going to rush through all the the boring sort of tools that are super valuable, of course, but I don't use many of them. I basically use SEO um, and another one. So here's a video I posted the other day. This is what you call your scorecard. Um, and pretty much what a scorecard is, is it'll tell you how your video is going. If you want to uh, stalk on your competition, really good for that as well. Um, you can see if that's the lacking in SEO. If you have clients, same thing as well. Basically, I don't look at this top stuff, right? You can if you want, um, but a good thing to look if you're looking at competitors is how many views per hour they get for that specific video. As you can see, I'm only getting less than a view an hour, but that's because this company is just just launched. So um, they, they aren't known by anyone. And if I scroll down, this is where the magic really happens. Um, and it's your rank tracker, right? You can see what keywords you're actually ranking for. So as you can see, I'm number one for um, the basic uh, keyword grow me organic as well as review um, number two for all put together and inside here so this is all really good stuff um, it's always good I always check on my videos to see how they're going so that's good and the other part I do is when I publish my videos I always look at this video optimization checklist it's going to tell me my title tags description cards all of this good stuff so as I can see from here um, I need to share it on Facebook which is really good and closed captions I'll show you that right now before I carry on so you might not know it but uh if you actually translate the titles of your videos and the descriptions this this is part this part here what it will actually do is give you more of a chance to rank in the search engine right which is really good and vidIQ actually allows uh allows you to do it for free as part of the pro package right so i'll show you what it does so first of all you want to go to youtube studio it's a little bit of a hack no one really knows about this just yet so um uh, I only, only personally just found out the other day. So if you go to YouTube Studio on the left here, you've got subtitles. Um, I know one of these, this one here doesn't have any subtitles. When you click on here, right, um, it'll bring you to this page. Now, I don't personally have the entire subtitles. That's quite a big job. But what you can do is you can uh, translate the titles and descriptions using vidIQ. So all you do is press add language. Um, if you go into your analytics as well, it'll tell you what your um, top countries are. So that just to let you know. But if you come down here, um, I know that majority of the people on the internet are from India. So let's just say I want to put one in India. Um, add that here, Hindi, and I press add on this section here. Now, as you see, there's a little translate button. It's just appeared. Click that. And what do you know? It's been translated. So I'll just go ahead and press publish. And that's been added. So what you generally do is you would choose your top countries that you're getting most of your views from, right? Um, Obviously, English is going to be done if your first language is English, but you can just come through and all the other ones are just going to help. So let's just say if it was Arabic, Arabic, or however you say it, mine's a bit blank at the moment. Um, just press it there and do the same thing. Now, they are pretty much all there, all the languages. There's just a few that are missing, but I generally do about six for each video. And then once they're done, they're done. So it's a, a little bit of a ranking sort of um, trick that not many people know about. So I just thought I'd show you that. So what else is there? Um, I'll quickly go into a search just so I can show you a few more things before I get into my favorite part of the entire um, the entire vidIQ product. So let's just say I was searching for vidIQ review as I'm doing a vidIQ review right now. You'll see this little panel on the right here. And what this is going to show you is just a brief overview of the search term you're going for. 
so it'll give you the average numbers majority of the like the top videos have so averaged out all put together and then divided it's about 50,000 um but don't let that put you off it's just showing you the sort of best search terms the highest views for the search term is 570,000 so it's got a lot of beef um average subscribers are 270k or 63 if you want to get um close but it just gives you a bit of an overview now i don't personally use this pane too much because the next thing i'm going to show you is the best way to do it um, but if you go down and it'll give you a brief overview of what the volume's like and how much competition there is so 77 out of 100 pretty good it's also got some uh, the top channels for the search term so that's why um, the top one was so high it's because it's vidIQ and then it's got some related search terms so this is actually a really good thing um, top related search terms you can click on it and see all of them if you wish um, but this particular search term here I'm actually going to do a video on because it's so lucrative um, so you'll probably see that in the in the near future and then it's also got this thing here trending videos a good part about this is if you're creating these channels that you want to like sort of latch on trending topics it's a it's a good way to get fast amount of views the video is not going to last forever but it's a good way if you're into those sort of things trying to get the biggest channel you can um, trying to follow niches this is a good place to um, have a look what sort of videos are doing really well as you can see um, there's potential to get 107 views per hour um, which is not too bad for this particular topic it's not the most niche one but these are here as well okay so let's get into the nuts and bolts i've been talking on enough about uh, the features and things so i'm going to come here to vidIQ and come to this seo tab right now when you first log in here you'll see these two things pop up and that's if you have the boost membership but don't worry you don't have to do anything just come straight on the right to keyword research and this is the magic feature this is the one that's going to help you um, get your videos on the top of uh, youtube search engine right so if i typed in here vidIQ right this is going to give me some potential keywords that i could go for now as you can see we've got related keywords related score um, search volume search score competition score overall score and number of words okay so what i generally do because i'm a little bit lazy is i click on overall score and it's going to filter it from the highest score to the lowest and basically it's putting all of these terms together and then popping out the lowest competition with the highest amount of search right so as you can see this one's only got a search score of nine um, which means that oh sorry competition score of nine which means that you know not many people are going for it it's uh, out of 100 i'd imagine um so nine's really good and it's got a lot of search volume but obviously this one's in russian so i can't go for that but if i come down um you would have heard me mention earlier i was going to go for this particular keyword and that's because the search score is 83. so my rule of thumb is i will do a video on anything above 70. so if i come down i've got loads of ideas right loads of ideas that i could use to make videos about and the good thing about this as well is what i would generally do is copy all of these you can just highlight the entire thing put it into a spreadsheet um, and then you can paste it there and what i do is i will filter out the ones that are relative to the topic so i'm not going to put this one in here because it is a um, true buddy versus vidIQ i'm not talking about true buddy so i wouldn't use it but all the ones that are relative um, i would actually use as tags right that's a ninja 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 trick that no one knows about really um, and it's going to help you rank. So I would do vidIQ Pro. I would do uh, vidIQ Boost. I would do how to use vidIQ, how to install vidIQ, um, vidIQ Tutorial, vidIQ Chrome Extension, all of these types of things, right? And um, and then if you talk about them in your video like I am, there's a really good potential you're going to actually rank for those tags as well. So it's pretty amazing. Um, if you can't find the keyword you're trying to rank for, I would then type it again and it's going to be the one that's in yellow as you can see it's got a score of 77 so still really high um, but you can sort of use all the tags as well anything above and it's a good idea for finding a good keyword right if you were trying to um, go for a specific term but it was extremely competitive you just niche down into one particular term and it's going to make all the difference right so that's pretty much vidIQ in my opinion it's the best plugin you can get for value um, if you are trying to get uh, ranked on YouTube for the price as well man seven dollars fifty it's a no-brainer absolute no-brainer so what I'm gonna do quickly I'm gonna jump behind the camera um, I just want to say a few extra things <laughs> okay guys so that was vidIQ and my personal vidIQ review of all of it is it is worth it it is absolutely worth it it's so cheap for the amount of power you get just to let you know i've paid like i think 60 dollars per month for other tools that do 
pretty much the same as what vidIQ does, but I believe the vidIQ search engine's even better. So uh, that's my verdict, guys. I will be doing a, uh, another sort of series around this later on, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. There's gonna be some really good stuff. And if you are gonna use vidIQ Pro and you wanna get my free ranking guide, there is um, a lot of vidIQ in that ranking guide, but there's also some extra little tricks that not many people know that I'm happy to share with you if you decide to use my link for vidIQ. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you've learned something. vidIQ can definitely help your YouTube channel grow as well as your videos get more views. Make sure you check it out. And apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.